Hey everybody and welcome back to Wobbly Life! Today we're going to show you how to complete the Wobblosaurus Rex exhibit at the museum and how to unlock this cool dinosaur bone costume that I'm wearing. So sit back, relax, and uh, let's get going! So there are four artifacts in this exhibit and the clue for the first one is I would start looking in the jungle for this artifact. So, as always, I'm going to take this opportunity as we drive over to the Jungle Island to say thank you for watching. If you're enjoying Wobbly Life on the channel, please hit that like button. It lets us know that you want us to keep bringing you more Wobbly Life videos, and it lets YouTube know that people who like Wobbly Life might like watching our channel. So, hit that like button and get the word out. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It helps us to grow our channel. And if you have a moment, leave a comment down below to let us know what you'd like to see more of on the channel. So, since I lost my car in the water, I'm gonna run up here and grab one of the little race cars, and we're going up to the Jungle Temple. And we are doing this because to get the first artifact, we need to come over here. Uh, where am I going? Ah! right around here to the exit from the cave where you get the devil costume. So we're gonna grab a bomb and we are going to fly over to the exit to that cave. Which is in the jungle right over here. The artifact is hidden inside of a rock, so you need to use either a bomb or the pickaxe to get it out. Since the bomb's located right there, I just figured I would grab it on my way and take it over here. And you can see this rock right over here at the cave exit. Let me see if I can get a good view of it. Yeah, this rock right here has a marking on it. See how it's kind of cracked? Yeah, that's the hint that you want to put the bomb there, or use the pickaxe, to blow it apart, revealing the first artifact in the Woblosaurus Rex exhibit. Alright, let's take this back to the museum! And here we are, back at the museum, with our first artifact. And it is... A skull fragment from a Woblosaurus Rex. It looked like the uh, jawbone, actually. The clue for the second artifact is, I think this artifact is buried somewhere on the farm island. So we're gonna jump back into our car, and we are going to head over to the store on Main Street to grab a metal detector. That is because this artifact is in a free dig. Those are the X's that you will sometimes find on the ground. And if you bring a metal detector to them, they will unlock a treasure chest without having to buy a map. Now, unfortunately, I lost my original footage of getting this artifact. So I've had to come back and redo it. It always spawns in this location, so you're going to see me get it, but it's not going to be glowing this time. Unfortunately, hard drives fail, files get corrupted, and footage gets lost. Thankfully, we can recreate this pretty easily, just as I said, without the, uh, the glowing aspect of the artifact. But the first time you get it, it will be glowing the same as any other artifact you get the first time. So the artifact is located pretty much right after you cross over the bridge. We're gonna pull off right over here, Grab our trusty metal detector. And we're gonna come over here behind this farmhouse. And it is uh, right around here somewhere. Let me... Oh, yep, we're getting close again. It's been a little while, I don't remember exactly where it is. There it is! There's the big black X. And here is where you will always find the second artifact. There it is! Like I said, it's not glowing because uh, this isn't the first time I've got it, but 
We're going to take it back to the museum and see if we can use our editing magic to make it look like it's uh, the first time we did it. So here we are back at the museum and we're going to take the artifact um, over to the guy and then I'll cut to a shot of the description. A tailbone from a Wobblosaurus Rex. All right. So the clue for the third artifact is, I think this artifact is probably buried somewhere on the main island. Now, unfortunately, this artifact suffered the same fate as the second artifact in that I lost the original footage. It was on the same file that got corrupted. So we're going to have to fake our way through this one, too. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to the shop on Main Street and you're going to buy a hard treasure map. And you're going to go out, throw the metal detector into the back of a truck, and start looking for a treasure chest that contains the artifact you need. Now, um, if you've watched the other videos about other artifacts and exhibits, you know that the treasure chests contain different things. Whether it's an ingot, or a ring, or a coin, or an artifact, it's completely random. And um, which artifact, if it is an artifact that you get out of it, is also completely random. Certain artifacts generate on certain islands, but you're not guaranteed to get the artifact you need. But if you keep running the mission, you will eventually find the artifact that you are looking for. So, as I said, it's not glowing because this is not the first time we've gotten this artifact. But if it is the first time, it will be glowing, as the other ones are in our videos. But we're going to take it back to the museum and fake our way through this. An arm bone from a Wobblosaurus Rex. All right. So the clue for the final artifact is, I heard this artifact might be buried somewhere up north. So that means we're going to have to jump into our trusty helicopter right by the police station and fly up to the treasure lodge in the mountain. And we're going to buy another treasure map. And we are going to go in search of the artifact. Now the good news is we're back on original footage. And this is the first time I will find this artifact. So when we find it, it will be glowing. So uh, I'm going to pull up my map, and it looks like this one is up by the, uh, the ice skating rink where you do the UFO pizza mission. So uh, let's head on up and see if this is the artifact we need. Okay, so we're getting close. It's somewhere right around here, hopefully not in the middle of the road. I don't want to get hit by a car when I'm digging it up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, well, at least if it falls off the hill, it's just going to fall down to us this time. And yes, it is. It is the artifact that we need. This is... I, I'm not sure what, which one this actually is. But we're going to take it back to the museum and uh, find out. Looks like it's uh, maybe a claw or something. All right, let's head back to the museum. All right, so here we finally are back at the museum with the um, last dinosaur artifact. A leg bone from a Wobblosaurus Rex. Okay, so it was a leg bone. That's the last bone we need. It's so good to see it complete again. And we have unlocked the T-Rex Bones costume. All right, whoopee! All right, so I'm going to run over and uh, put this costume on. And that's just about going to do it for this episode of Wobbly Life. I hope you've enjoyed coming on this journey with us. As you can check out the uh, T-Rex. The there we go, the head. And I'm going to run back over here and record my outro and intro videos. If you're enjoying Wobbly Life on the channel, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It really helps us to grow our channel. And we will be back soon with more Wobbly Life. Thanks for watching.